What's up, dude? So today I get to do something that I absolutely despise doing, which is jean shopping. <laughs> so here's why I don't like jean shopping. Like just to get started, to start this video out on a good note, I'm gonna start by hating on something. So jean shopping absolutely sucks. And you know why? Because there isn't a universal like size, sizing system for women. So sometimes they go by the waist size, sometimes they go zero, two, four, six, eight, et cetera, you know? But like, they're not consistent. Sometimes I can literally be a size two and then in another store, I could be like a size eight. And like, you know, sizes shouldn't define you, but when you fluctuate that much, it really honestly feels like, okay, something's gotta be wrong with me. Why am I a size eight all of a sudden? And you just kind of wonder like, did I gain Eight? Is like this what a size 8 actually is and it just really messes with your mind and it's so frustrating Even if you go in with the mindset that like okay Don't even think about the size whatever fits you fits you and that's fine It's still really hard. Well for me personally. I shouldn't generalize but like for me personally It's really hard to not be like okay. I like did I gain that much weight? And like why am I a size 8 all of a sudden and like honestly a size 8 there's nothing wrong with that like that's a perfectly normal size to be but like when you're a size your whole life and then at like every store you are within a you know couple size range or whatever it's like why all of a sudden did I jump up in sizes I don't know it's so messy and then like if a jean fits me in the waist it probably won't fit me in the legs or in the length and vice versa if all of a sudden like the length is perfect the waist is way too big so honestly i've tried to find men's jeans and like to find the size in theirs that i need because at least they have a length and a waist size whereas a lot of times with women it's like just the waist size and it's so frustrating and if you want to find jeans that don't have holes in them are the correct wash that you want like you're gonna pay an arm and a leg for them and a lot of times it's like you'll find them in boutiques which is fine like I'm not hating on boutiques or anything but it's like you could like the wash of jeans but to find them without holes right now is it seems really really difficult and I know that holes is a trend and honestly I like that trend I'm perfectly fine with it but like sometimes I want jeans that don't have holes in them and then I also like I'm very specific about my washes of my jeans like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's certain washes where I look at them and I'm just like, yo, that is a no for me, dog. And then like, I, I don't know, I, okay, I feel like I'm getting a little too nitpicky now, but like, I am kind of specific. My first store that I'm gonna go to is actually a farm store, uh, Runnings. I don't know how, like, how far they span amongst the states, but, so Runnings is like a farm supply store and they, have a really decent clothes selection in the Bismarck store. The Mandan one, not so much, but the Bismarck one is pretty good. Granted, a lot of the women's clothes is outdated, but I'm hoping that in the jeans section, maybe because it's so vast and it's so much bigger than the Mandan store, I can find my correct size in men's even, and then I'll have deeper pockets, which will be really nice. So anyways, I'm gonna try to keep an open mind. I'm gonna try not to cry when I don't fit in the size that I think I need. Um, I say that now, but honestly, I could fully see myself having a breakdown later, um, but starting with an open mind. Also, this has gone on for about five and a half minutes, so I'm very sorry, but now let's just go to runnings and see what we can see.
Okay, so two pairs of jeans was $106, but to be fair, they are Levi's, and I'm very happy that I got a dark wash jean and a light wash jean that looks almost like it's a little bit worn, which is what I like. So I'm very, very happy about that. Next, I'm gonna run over to the mall because there's um, a store there, Shields that they might carry some other jeans that are like either Wranglers or Levi's that are a cuter wash, like more feminine kind of wash and not outdated. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. Or no, not feminine wash, excuse me, like a feminine fit. So anyways, we're gonna go there and have a look around. I hope that made sense because I don't think that it really did. Um, also, I need to go bathroom, so I'm gonna go in that store. I didn't go in Shields because someone was standing outside the women's bath, or, oh my gosh, I didn't go in running because someone was standing outside the women's bathroom and I thought that like maybe it was being cleaned. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Mm. I'm wearing this bodysuit so you guys can actually see like how these jeans fit. These are the Levi's and they are the 2934s, which I have found works to be about my size. LOL, my GoPro died. I thought I could finish this video on 45% battery, but apparently I can't. So anyways, the 2934 is about the right size. The length is a little bit long, but I prefer to have my jeans longer on the bottom. And then the waist, like I was saying, it's a little big. I don't know, I would rather have a tighter waist, but they still work and I think they're still cute. I'm gonna wash and dry them and hopefully that'll sort of like shrink them up a little bit. Don't mind my mess desk. So these are the Levi's 517 jeans, same size, 29.34. The other style of the other jeans that I got are the classic 505s, which I know are super popular, but these are the 517s. I really like these. I think they look super nice. They have more of a boot cut on the bottom. They're still, again, kind of long, but like I said, I'd rather have that. The waist is a little bit better, actually, than the other pair. Now, because these are men's jeans, they're a little bit higher waisted on me, which is what I prefer. So I love that. Oh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I went jean shopping. Um, it wasn't as traumatic as I was thinking it would be. And I think that's because I went in with it with a really, or I went into it with a really good solid mindset. Also, I was doing it kind of for a video too and not because I was desperately in need of jeans. That makes a big difference too. If I need an outfit like for the next day, then it can be a little bit more stressful. But at least today I was like, no, take your time. Find jeans that you actually like and that helped a lot. Thank you guys so much for coming with me. If you like this video, please be sure to to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. Oh, also, so I was thinking of buying those like classic Wrangler jeans that they're like super duper stiff and they're a relatively dark wash. I was thinking of like trying some stuff to distress them, like trying some internet sort of hack to distress them a little bit. If you guys would be interested in seeing a video like that, comment down below and let me know because then I would go back and try to find my size and do that for a video. But let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.